How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Fashion or Fash. This episode, I got something really cool for y'all. I'm gonna try and fly fish in an abandoned monastery. I don't know too much about this place, but uh, about the history at least. Yeah, but apparently, it used to be an abandoned monastery for monks and like nudist people to, I don't know, do whatever they do and just hang out like a retreat or whatever. And they built up these like nice little man-made waterfalls and it looks really cool. And I'll, I've always wanted to fish it. I did fish it a while ago and it did pretty good. But with places like this, you really don't know what to expect. All I know that's gonna be really cool fishing in this place today. Side note, if you wanna fish this, you can't really cause it's private. My friend has permission. But anyway guys, if you are new to the channel, please go down below and support me and subscribe. If you like this video, make sure to go down and like it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the water. All right, guys, I'm going to be going over the flies I used in my setup for today. I opted to use a dry dropper rig because the water's super low and clear. Here I have a chubby chernobyl as my top fly. And I'm just using various Euro nymphs like this Frenchie as my bottom, just because they get down really fast and it's pretty much mostly what I have right now. And for the rod I'm using, I've got a 7 foot 6, 3 weight. It's perfect for small and medium creeks like this. All right, guys, so we made it to the creek. I know right here it really doesn't look like much at all. All the really cool waterfalls and stuff that are man-made are further upstream. All right, there we go, guys. This is our first, like, man-made little wall thing. It's going to get much more cooler as we go up, but these pools are starting to get a little deeper. There could be some trout in here. I've already seen a little trout, but he was pretty small. I couldn't get him. Spooked. had one uh, try to eat the chubby but he was a bit too small to eat it just look how cool this already is guys we got a little midges or gnats flying around right there fish should be hungry today the water is a bit low but hopefully we can get some yeah this is a nice little deep hole right here the first good hole man-made one we're gonna see if we can avoid those branches and get a decent cast in there i don't know how i'm gonna really approach it i don't really have too much room back here let's try to make this work Oh, oh my gosh. I just made a terrible cast in the back of the hole. I mean, that's all I was really going for. And a little, probably like a 12 inch brown, swam out, slurped the nymph, and he somehow didn't get hooked. Oh, again, I missed one. There we go. Oh, he got off. He's right there. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know why they keep getting off. There we go. This guy's gonna stay pinned. It's a little, little brown trout. <sighs> but there's a ton of them in there. First fish today, beautiful. Little Euro nymph. I'm not using Euro nymphs right, but uh, they work like this, so it doesn't really matter. Get the little guy back. All right, now it's starting to get really cool. You can like drive over this whole little section right here. All this is like starting to get man-made. Oh, got one. It's an awkward hook set because we'll get out of there. Not a rock here. Get awkward because uh, my line was kind of tangled up in the rocks and stuff. But we got him. I saw him come up and just like inspect the nymph. And he slurped it a little bit bigger, but we're definitely looking for bigger than this guy. Let's get him back. Oh, oh man. That's a different nymph line. Oh yeah, oh, no way. Oh, are you kidding me? There's something wrong with this tippet, bro. A decent trout came up and ate that uh, dry fly. Broke it straight off. I don't get it, bro. Man, that, that's not... Tippet must be old or something, bro. I mean, I, I didn't buy it. I don't think I bought it too long ago, but like, it shouldn't be able to snap like that. But I guess I probably should have checked my tippet a bit better. 
I saw the I saw the wake on that guy. He came up and slurped that chubby. I just feel really bad because he has two hooks in him now. I really think. There we go. Hopefully you guys could see that. <laughs> that was sick. I was just jigging. This is very shallow water here. If I get up on this. I was just jigging the uh, little chubby. And this guy came over and ate it. I missed him the first time. Oh, he's, he's stuck right here. I missed him the first time and got him the second. A very shallow little pool. I'm surprised a brown this big lives in this little pool. But uh, a brown trout, an 18 incher could live in this pool. There we go, guys. Biggest of the day so far. Still a dink, but it was really cool on the dry fly, the little chubby there. Let's get him back. This little tiny pool. It's crazy, like two or three trout live in this tiny little pool. All right, this is a cool little divot in the concrete here. Oh, there we go. Oh, is that even a trout? No, it's not a trout. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Little creek chub. I hate the little here on that one. There we go. The little guy at the end of the pool. Oh, we got a jump. Well, I got that jump on camera. Oh, sick. Let's see if we can bring him over here. Actually, bigger than the last one, really. I <clears throat> really wish I had forgot my net, but. Luckily, we got this little couple right here we can unhook them in. Yeah, another beautiful little wild ground trout. Let's get him back. Oh, I don't know if you guys could really see the release. Now, let's take some casts to this big pool up here. I'm really excited to see what comes out of here. I caught a pretty big rainbow here last time, I think. That was like two years ago. There we go. Ah, oh, he came off. All right, now here's a super nice pool right here. It looks like we're probably gonna have to sight fish some fish if we see some. There might be some under the tree here though. That seems like a spot that there would be. Especially since there's like a gradient. I guess a little shallower. A lot of bugs fall off trees. So let's see if we can get a cast up there maybe. There we go. Oh, sick. <laughs> that was so sick. wonder if my camera picked that up all right. Look at that trout right there. Definitely saw a bigger one. But that's the biggest of the day so far. Let's see if we can land him. Oh, there's a bigger one falling. There's two bigger ones falling. Oh my gosh, that's so sick. Oh, come here, buddy. About 12 inch. <laughs> Not very big, but uh, we'll take it. He's a gorgeous brown. Yeah, look at that. Gorgeous little brown. Like, look. Literally right here. Oh, he ate it. Oh, no. He came off. wonder if you guys saw that. I don't know how he came off. But <laughs> I was looking for the brown trout that I saw cruising. And he was right by the wall. And I just dropped it in there. He came up and smoked it. I just spot some really cool. There's a little eel right here. I don't, I've never heard of anyone catching an eel on Euro Nymphs, but uh, we're gonna give that a try here. Oh, didn't like it. Just spooked. Bro, that is crazy that they're American eels all the way up in here. But let's keep moving. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. There's the fish. I'm just bathing myself in poison out here right now. There we go, guys. Let's get it back real quick. Oh, there's decent trout. That was really unexpected. I did not make a good cast. It's actually a pretty good sized one. I thought he would have been spooked by now because I'm up here messing around. These are really fighting hard in this three weight. Yeah, it's just a little bit bigger one. Nice. Yeah, these browns really have some striking colors. Look at that guy. Beautiful red adipose fin right there. See that? From what I remember from this point, the fishing just keeps getting better. It's a fish. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to lift this guy up. Drop it back in without touching him because my hands are dry. All right, guys, I apologize. I wasn't recording. But he didn't really miss too much. He probably would have missed the hook set on the wall. He made a really big run though. Oh gosh. Oh, that was sick. Oh my gosh. I just hooked a big rainbow casting against this wall right here. And I don't know if we keep him pinned because this tree's right here. He almost jumped into the dang tree. A solid little rainbow. This fish might be wild, honestly. Oh man, it's a gorgeous fish. It's a gorgeous fish. This is so cool. He's making some crazy runs. Just gotta keep him pinned and keep him out of this tree. Don't fight him too hard, because uh, I wish I had my net too. It's another thing. Just gotta be careful with these trees. Keep the line nice and tight. Yeah, this is a wild bow. Unless he's held over for a long time. Wild bows are definitely rare in this part of Pennsylvania, but we gotta keep him out of that tree there. Oh my gosh. It's crazy how this fish is fighting. Three weight. I think I'll play this fish good. All right, he's coming towards me. Hopefully you can see him there. Oh gosh. Oh, that was scary. He almost knocked the nymph off. Cause there's a tree branch right there. All right, buddy. I don't know how I'm going to really land him. It's kind of too deep for me to get in the water right here. If only a problem in that, I don't know why I didn't. It's just how I am. I thought there would be no netable fish caught today, but dang, this is a nice little rainbow right here. Oh, this is such a gorgeous fish. Definitely my biggest wild bow on the uh, fly I've ever caught. So I have a little bit of fight left in me. In him. In him. Very slowly playing this fish. Very light drag because my tippet is pretty thin. Let's go. Oh, look at that fish. Look at that fish right there. Gorgeous. Giant wild bow. Look at that fish on the year on them right there on my seven foot three weight. Quick look at this guy before we put him back. Gorgeous fish right there. Good fight in the three weight. Let's get her back. Alright guys, that was super cool. Fish release healthy. 
uh, I casted right under that tree right there, if you guys remember. Well, you didn't see the cast because my GoPro wasn't recording, but uh, you saw that cool jump at least. Also, one other thing is, uh, I don't know for sure if that was a wild bow, but if it was, it definitely was my biggest Pennsylvania wild rainbow trout. But this creek, as far as I know, doesn't get stocked. Obviously, people can dump them in there if they want to. Like, you never really know. It's crazy. I've seen pa pallies, some golden rainbow trout in the middle of the woods, in the middle of Brookie Creeks. It's so dumb. But farmers dump them in there. But anyway, let's get, like I said before, let's get back at it. I can already see another trout up there. Looks like a pretty good one. Let's cast to it. There we go. Oh, there's a decent bit of fish in this hole right here. This fish is flying like crazy. I think I might have hooked the biggest fish in the hole, I think. It's not very big, though. This might be the biggest brown we landed of the day so far. Yeah, not very big, but... Saw a little fish. Gorgeous colors and very unique looking brown. Like, very striking markings and, like, very, in like distinct looking like I said before like look how bright red those guys are of course I hooked another good fish while I wasn't recording the recording button but another decent little brown yeah. right, let's get him back Oh man, there's a big bow following him. Oh. There's a big rainbow trout in there. I'm gonna try and get. All right, I'm gonna see if I can possibly sight fish this rainbow trout. I don't see him. So I think I'm just gonna take a blind cast and there's a good chance he'll eat it. Oh no, he's over at the other side there. I see him. See him now. Let me sneak up behind him here. Got him, got him. That was sick. <laughs> Sight fished him. Watched him, ate it. He got bigger than the last, the last one, maybe. Make sure he doesn't frame me on these rocks here. I want to get down there, but I also think I have a better chance of keeping him out of these, this ledge here if I find from up here. That was so sick. Alright, buddy, come on. Let's fish you in. Let's go. That's even bigger than the last one, I think. Oh, solid, solid rainbow trout on the Euro Nymph right there. The Euro Nymph hairs here. Awesome. There you go, guys. Bigger rainbow trout. All right, guys, just so you know, I released that fish safely. He's right over there, chilling with his buds over there. He's sitting right where I caught him at. Yeah, I don't know why he would swim off that weirdly. I'd cast him all those pools. Like that fish had nowhere to fight really. He's, he's right there. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's coming over this side of the pool. That was so cool. Ah, right, there we go, another fish. Drop him in the back of the hole it slurps it oh there's a bigger one i just spooked another big one i just spooked there we go
Oh, that's a decent one. It's a pretty good one. Brown trout wise. Inside here. If I land this guy, it'll be the biggest wild brown of the day. Really fighting hard in this three weight. Ah, buddy, look at that. This little male. Oh, that's a good fish. Is that a rainbow or is that a brown? Oh, it's a big brown, I think. But no, it's a big rainbow again. <laughs> I'll take it though. We can land him. Sick. I not sight fish this guy. Another tiny hole. I kind of thought he was a big brown though at first. But I'll take it. Fish the size in a tiny hole like this. Awesome. Hopefully my GoPro's angle up the right way. Normally, hopefully, yeah, I think it might have been way too far up, but there he is. Normally I'm fishing on the bank, not on like a top of a man-made wall. But hopefully the GoPro picked up the fight a decent bit. Try and get down here. down here fighting this fish like a classic spin fisherman when he used fire rods uh, got him there we go another solid rainbow trout there you go guys All right, guys, another solid rainbow trout of this little hole right here. Awesome catching big fish out of small water like this. Oh, I see a big rainbow in there. Oh, I got him. There we go. <laughs> I did not think that was him. These rainbows, like, I've been barely biting it. Pulled up and there he was. Another nice rainbow. I really isn't fighting too hard for some reason. I think there might be another one following him. I can't really tell. Oh, I think this guy's either blind in the one eye or just like injured or just formed. There we go. Another good rainbow trout right there. Yeah, he's a weak, derpy looking eye right there. Another solid rainbow shot right there. Weird eye. I don't know what's up with that, but that was sick. Oh my gosh. Wait, no. He came off. I had. Oh my gosh. There was another rainbow there. And uh, the little, this little brown, he ate the, the uh, little uh, nymph here. And the rainbow came up and ate the, uh, the uh, whatever dry fly I have on there. And he got off because there was two fish on at the same time. Uh, maybe we can still get him, I don't know. This is 
right there. Awesome. All right, guys, getting dark. I ran out of battery. So that's gonna have to do it for today. Pretty awesome day of fishing. It's always super cool fishing unique spots like this one. But yeah, I caught a lot of fish. Probably got a lot of poison ivy. So since I sacrificed my legs for this video, to film this video for you guys, if you don't mind, go down below, like it. If you're new here, make sure to go down and subscribe because there's gonna be a lot of cool fishing content coming soon. But yeah, keep on fashion. I'll see you in the next one.